Hello guys, welcome for the new chapter in the Ikeda videos under the subject of EDC2. The chapter is Large Signal Amplifier or Power Amplifier. Now in this particular chapter, whatever we have to discuss is not with the name as small signal analysis. No, we have to do the large signal analysis. This is because we are not handling voltage, we are not handling current. Rather than that, importantly, we are using the power amplification. We are doing the power handling. We want the less dissipation. We want the large power handling. So we'll start with the concept of power amplifier in this particular video. <music> guys first question comes in your mind that why power amplifier so why do we require that power amplifier if all the voltage amplifier stuff are there in my material right for example uh, ce amplifier cs amplifier cb amplifier everything is there in my uh, world of circuit of electrical networks. Uh, so why do we require that power amplifier? So basically uh, Generally need of power amplifier comes when I want to use I want to handle higher amount of power So what kind of higher amount of power exact higher amount of power how I can decide? So if I say that more than One watt power if I'm using if I am uh, handling then I can say that I need the power amplifier for example in your um, audio amplifier right in your uh, antennas right in the in your radio station so there we require the power amplifier more specifically if you use if you uh, take the book of the communication so on each block diagram you will find the last step is nothing but the power amplifier so ultimately if i am using the large handle power handling capacity wala amplifier then obviously we have to use the power amplifier in that case why this is because there all the power mosfet power bjt's we are using in this particular power amplifier general transistor has some limitation to amplify in the range of temperature on the parameter of temperature on the parameter of voltage on the parameter of current and so on right so we'll deal with the power more than one watt basically a very important phenomena we have to understand that whenever i, am, I have the low resistive load for example i have this particular amplifier and i'm applying speaker right and applying speaker as load as I know that speaker is having very very less valued of resistance so if less valued resistance is there at the output side so there is need to have that much amount of power handling capacity this is because if resistance is very less then I'm applying I'm sourcing very large amount of current so do I have that much amount of capacity in my voltage amplifier or current amplifier no this is because we are using the power amplifier we have we have to have focus on few parameters first of all the power dissipation we should have less power dissipation such that whatever DC power is applied whether all the DC power is used for consumed for the output side or not right that we have to get moreover power should not get dissipated that means waste of power should not be there in my circuit right that I have to take care second is distortion distortion is nothing but the parameter of linearity I can say that it's nothing but the parameter of linearity third thing is i'm using power amplifier where i'm using separate power mosfet power bjt's as transistor so wherever i'm using the transistor it's not like bc 547a or bc 547b or bfw 11 as a jfet or uh, bjt's rather than that we are using special power mosfet and power bjt's so we'll say that special
right and their specification is like uh, 2n uh, 6078 right these are nothing but the examples of this power mosfet or power djts right so we have lot more specifications uh, if you find power mosfet power bjt in on your google you will get so many data sheets so depending on the rating of the voltage and current you will be getting this particular uh, power mosfet and power bjt is a question arises that uh, is it possible to get the uh, normal bjt bc547 a or b and uh, if it is not possible then why it is not possible right so regular or we can say that conventional bjt and fets have limitations that limitations are nothing but first of all their current handling capacity is not more than current handling capacity is not more than i can say that it's less than 0.8 ampere right secondly voltage i cannot handle voltage which is more than 100 volts so voltage handling capacity is less than 100 volts secondly temperature temperature i can handle the temperature till 150 degree celsius only right so why this is so because the fabrication of that particular bjt is such that if i increase the value of the temperature as we have studied that if temperature increases then what will happen your minority charge carrier current will increases minority charge carrier current increases your um, collector current increases your collector current increases your power dissipation increases and so on your thermal runaway will increase and can damage your conventional bjt that we have used for uh, voltage amplifier so that's why we are not using these uh, bjt's and jfets for your power amplifier rather than that we are using special bjt's and mosfet that is called as power bjt and power mosfet as far as we have learned that key in the name is power amplifier right name is power amplifier okay we have got that key uh, we have to handle more amount higher amount of power right but why large signal amplifier in your bjt and fet voltage amplifier we have handled uh, less amount of voltage less amount of current right and uh, our q point is uh, varying in very small range of current and voltage because we are not considering that much significant amount of change in temperature voltage and current because the range of voltage and current and temperature as well is not that much high so in this particular case in power uh, in uh, power amplifier we have large amount of range so that's why the signal we are considering of large signal so that's why whatever analysis we are going to carry out is nothing but the large signal analysis and that's why this amplifier is called as large signal amplifier so this is how i hope you have understood very well in this particular chapter ka first session that is called as a concept of oscillator as far as application is considered as i have already mentioned that application is for low resistive device at the output of any communication uh, system i can say last stage is nothing but your power amplifier so to handle more and more power i will use power amplifier in further videos we will learn the some classification of power amplifiers and we'll do some analysis for each type of power amplifier and depending on that we will move ahead for further power amplifiers depending on that on obviously advantages disadvantages limitations applications and so on so learn more and more edc along with me stay tuned for further videos we will enjoy power amplifier and subscribe this particular channel for that if you have any sort of doubt you can comment below this particular video thank you so much